Yeah, I don't want to sound too excited. Yeah, <laughs> Flash illumination plays an important role in many photography scenarios as the only controllable light source. However, flash is inflexible as it's a binary decision made at the time of capture, with little control over its color and strength. The ability to generate and edit flash illumination post-capture is therefore a desirable application for many photographers. In this work, we propose a physically inspired intrinsic formulation for flash photograph formation. We use our formulation to develop methods for computationally generating and decomposing flash photographs. Furthermore, we exploit the cyclic relationship between flash photo decomposition and generation to create a source of self-supervision to train our method. We show that our careful formulation allows for the estimation of more pleasing flash and ambient images when compared to state-of-the-art image-to-image -image translation models. Okay, that's the first one minute of the video. <laughs> Using the superposition of illumination principle, a flash photograph can be modeled as the sum of ambient and flash illumination images. In order to computationally edit flash, these two illuminations must be decomposed. In order to generate a flash photograph, one of these components must be predicted from the other. We formulate these problems in the intrinsic image domain, wherein an image is represented as a pixel-wise multiplication between albedo and shading. Using this image model allows us to represent the ambient and flash illuminations with two separate shading layers, but with a common albedo. We use this insight to perform decomposition of a flash photograph into its ambient and flash illuminations, as well as generation of a flash photograph from an ambient image. Our formulation of these tasks allows us to estimate grayscale shading components, rather than reasoning about three-channel RGB images. We define the decomposition task as separating a flash photograph into its ambient and flash illumination images. Using our intrinsic formulation, we reframe the problem as a shading prediction task. Our model predicts two shading components that correspond to flash and ambient illumination. More specifically, since flash photographs are white balanced using the flashlight, we predict a single grayscale shading layer to represent the flash illumination. The ambient illumination is represented as the multiplication of a single grayscale shading layer in an RGB vector in order to account for the color of the ambient light in the scene. These components account for all of the illumination in the scene and the rest of the image content comes from albedo. Additionally, in order to provide geometrical context, we also feed the network estimated depth and surface normals. In addition to editing an existing flash photograph, it's also useful to add flash to an image captured without it. Using this motivation, we also propose a method for flash generation using our intrinsic image formulation. Similar to the decomposition task, we formulate the flash generation task as predicting a grayscale flash shading component given an ambient image. An important aspect of flash decomposition and generation is the cyclic relationship between them. In other words, if we were to decompose a flash photograph to yield an ambient image, our generation network should be able to transform that ambient image back into the original flash photograph. To supplement the regular supervision from ground truth, we leverage the cyclic relationship between our tasks to compute a self-supervised loss when training the generation network. Flash decomposition and generation are both complex relighting tasks. However, there exists only a few small-scale datasets with diverse flash and ambient pairs. To train our system, we developed the extended flash and ambient illumination dataset. We combined three different existing datasets, the MIT multi-illumination dataset, flash and ambient illumination dataset, and the deep flash portrait dataset. We color correct and normalize the images across each dataset to ensure consistent flash characteristics. Additionally, in order to augment our dataset, we segment portraits from the deep flash dataset and composite them onto backgrounds from fade. We show that our intrinsic approach to computational flash allows us to generate more visually pleasing results when compared to state-of-the-art image-to-image models. Our method can be used to edit flash post-capture or add flash in order to create a more balanced illumination in a scene. Thanks for watching. Uh, you're laughing, man. Just do it again. <laughs> Bro.